Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. We are here and we are going to talk about how to get hired as a web developer in 2020. Okay. Now, 2020 is around the corner, guys. All right. Literally, we're like, what, a day, two days away. So you want to be prepared for 2020. And the way how you're going to prepare yourself is by watching this video. So let's get on with it. Okay. So first of all, you want to learn how to convert a PSD to HTML. Now, this is something that is known in the industry as quote unquote PSD to HTML, right? But it's really just means like, hey, take a design, a picture that the designer is going to give you. And then from there, you're going to basically turn it into HTML, CSS, make it into a real website. All right. So if you go to, let's say, dribble.com and you want to practice this, okay, come here and search for web design. All right. And then there's a whole bunch of websites that people have designed and just build them to practice. OK, because this is how you're going to be working at a company. Right. They're going to give you a design. They're going to say, hey, this is the picture right here. All right. Now go ahead and build it. Can you build that? If you can't, then you're good to go. If you can't, then that means you need to step it up with your HTML and CSS. All right. Definitely go ahead and get started guys all right now the next one that we have here is understand how to manipulate the dom all right if you ever been to any website you've been to youtube you've been to all of these places right whatever website you go to everything that you see right is being manipulated by javascript okay everything that you see everything's loading up when we click on this button a pop-up shows up right that's what we call manipulating the DOM, right? Being able to control the elements inside of the DOM, right? If something gets clicked, if something gets hovered, what happens? Creating the logic, right? And how do you get to do that is with JavaScript. So you need to learn how to use JavaScript and you need to understand how the DOM works so you could be able to create, you know, user interfaces like this. Okay, very simple. Now, the next one is object-oriented programming. Now, you want to learn object-oriented programming because it's going to help you out understand a lot of the things that's going to come in the future. Meaning, if you're going to work with frameworks, if you're going to work with any library, right? If you want to uh, basically give some extra features to uh, the regular APIs that's out there or let's say for, uh, I don't know, you want to add an extra method to the array, right? You need to understand how object-oriented programming works, especially if you want to jump into other languages like let's say java or you want to jump into uh, c sharp or c plus plus whatever right you need to have at least the concept of object oriented programming in your mind okay very simple okay because they're going to ask you questions about that in the job interviews and if you be like oop what does that stand for you ain't getting higher okay <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a minus <laughs> you ain't getting higher okay the next thing is javascript framework okay choose one of those okay so we're talking about angular or react one of those two you're good okay it's cool to play around with you it's cool to play around with svelte but let's be honest those two don't have as many jobs as angular and react okay and most people is going to be expecting for you to know at least one of these two all right doesn't matter where you live you could live in wyoming you could live in florida you could live in texas you could live in new york city you could live in san francisco these are the two frameworks that people are expecting you to know okay then from there we have learn how to consume apis okay learn how to consume apis guys what the hell does this mean right basically understand how to use rest okay if you don't know what rest is that's something that you need to look up <laughs> now you also need to understand how to use ajax because that's how you're going to be able to consume the apis and what the hell is the api google it that's what i'm telling you what you need to be learning okay <laughs> i'm not going to spend 10 minutes here showing you guys everything about apis but think about it like this let's say there's a server right and then there's your application there's a way to communicate to that server to get some type of information from the database etc right and you're going to get an object back returned to you depending on what you sent to them okay or what you're trying to get from them that's it very simple terms right if you want to start with something very simple search for the pokemon api it's free okay and pretty much you can start practicing with this all right 
that's it you go to this url let's say for example uh let's say this slash pokemon let's say pikachu press enter and there you go this is why it returns back to you okay a json object if you don't understand how to communicate with a server by doing something like this okay you need to look that up right that's something that you're gonna need because if you're gonna get hired in 2020 this is like knowing your abcs if you don't know this there's no way you could work in a company okay you're not you're not gonna be productive <laughs> straight up okay learn one backend language php javascript ruby python c sharp learn one of them okay and focus on at least one of them right my advice is to focus on php even though some of you guys are gonna say well i know javascript and i want to stick to javascript guys learn php this php jobs everywhere javascript jobs not so much right as far as no js like if you i don't know if you move to a, a small town right there's not going to be a Node.js job in the small town, but there's probably going to be a PHP job. There's going to be a WordPress job. You get what I'm saying? And that's why I tell you guys always to learn PHP because it just gives you more opportunities. Okay. If there's more jobs in PHP than in Node.js, then you should be trying to learn the one that has more opportunities for you so you could always find a job. You don't want to be that guy learning something and then you move to a city and you're like, damn, they don't, they don't hire for this. This is the trending thing in San Francisco right now. I can't find a job. This sucks. I'm going to have to move back. Like, nah, if you know PHP, you know WordPress, right? You're going to find a job everywhere. Same thing as csharp.net. You're going to find a job everywhere. If you know Java, you're going to find a job everywhere. Okay. Now I forgot to put Java, so don't kill me. All right. But <laughs> I just said it. All right. The next thing is learn MySQL, which is the number one database in the world. Okay, SQL. That's it. SQL, period. You learn MySQL, you pretty much know SQL Server. You know MySQL, you know Postgres. Okay, there's a, a couple of little things that is a little bit different, but once you understand SQL and how to basically save data inside of a database, then you're good to go. All right. Now, the next thing that we have here is build a portfolio website. Clean and simple. Once again, two keywords clean and simple okay i want you guys to understand that let me see if i could come here what well, was this girl's name Brittany chang.com she has a beautiful portfolio okay now some of you guys will try to go and build something like this with a lot of animations and you know some nice colors and this this and that right but the problem is that you guys don't have Brittany chang experience okay so then your website instead of looking nice and smooth it looks so jaggedy you got random colors because you don't know about color theory uh you know you don't know about uh fonts you don't know about uh text hierarchy right typography like you don't understand none of those things you don't understand about spacing right <laughs> negative space like you don't understand those things so then you try to imitate a website like this because you think man this is a, such a great website but what you don't understand is that this took years for her to get to that level right it wasn't like her first portfolio website was like that okay so my advice is build a simple portfolio i'm gonna show you right now one of her portfolios that i think is the best one to me because it's so simple that's it. Hello, I'm Brittany Chang, the sign minded front end software engineer, focus on building beautiful interfaces and experiences. All right. Very simple. Okay. You see how nice this looks? Nice spacing. As you scroll down, it has a smooth fade in. That's it. It has everything that you need to know about her, right? Then from there, her experience. Okay. I don't usually recommend people adding your experience unless you have experience straight up like i'm just being honest don't add experience be like well i was an uber driver from 2012 to 2014 like don't add those things nobody cares okay let your project speak for themselves all right so something like this very simple where she's showing off her projects right you see how having this uh mock-ups here it just it gives you a little oomph right so you want to do that for if your portfolio and look how simple it is it's just a white background and everything is in order right the, you know hierarchy on the text is is nice the typography is beautiful very simple 
okay do something like this every single one of you guys can build a simple portfolio like this don't go adding extra things when you don't have that skill yet because it's better to have something simple and clean than you having a whole bunch of a mess okay straight up okay i'm just trying to help you guys out for 2020 all right now the next one let's go into it where is it okay Build your portfolio, simple and clean, clean and simple, okay? <laughs> Build three projects a business will hire you for. Services, real estate, restaurant, okay? Very simple things that you can keep in your mind. Services, I'm talking about uh, find a business in your area, landscaping company, find a, a, I don't know, retail store, build a website for them, find a... I don't know, a real estate, like I said, find a restaurant. Now, just because I'm telling you find a restaurant doesn't mean that you have to go to the person and be like, hey, I could build your website. Could you pay me to build your website? Nah, this is for your portfolio. Uh, you know, little Chang Chang's freaking Chinese restaurants right next door. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and, and say, hey, I'm, I don't know Chinese freaking restaurant names. Uh, what is it? The Blue Dragon, Full Moon, right? You know how they have the, the random names, right? So uh, Full Moon's restaurant is right next door, right? Go ahead and build a website for them, okay? Even though they don't even know that you're building a website for them. Put it on your portfolio and that's it, okay? And if you want to go the extra mile, reach out to them and tell them, hey, man, your website looked like shit. Look what I did for you. If you want, you could throw me some, some money. If you don't, you know what? I'll do it for free. I'll put it up. And then now you use that experience as a way to say, hey, man, I got hired by this company. They don't know that they didn't pay you anything. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is, you got to learn how to game the system, guys. All right? So it is what it is. Okay? And the last thing is apply to jobs on Indeed.com, Dice.com, and search for HTML. Okay? This is where everybody messes up at. People want to get a job as a front-end developer, front-end engineer, right? Straight off the bat. But they miss out all the opportunities that they could have been getting experience from, you know, other jobs and other job titles that are basically doing the same thing as a front-end developer, okay? <laughs> You're still going to be working with HTML, CSS. You're still going to be working with JavaScript. But the only thing is that this thing says content editor. You get what I'm saying? Like, don't miss out those opportunities because when you go to a job interview, your next job interview for the front end engineer, now you have six months. Now you have a year behind your back. You're like, yeah, this is what I did. I was content editor. I worked on this website. I basically built all the landing pages. I did all this thing. I built this with Angular, this, 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 and that, right? And I got paid for it. It's a real company. You get what I'm saying? Stop slacking. 2020 is about the bread. 2020 is about getting hired. 2020 is about making sure we achieve our goals. And this is what we're here for. Okay. So anyways, guys, by the way, if you're here and you survive to the end, please leave a comment. Let me know below. Are you planning to follow what I'm telling you guys here? Okay. Or if you're not, you're like, oh, I'm not listening to Joe. Okay. <laughs> Tell me I'm not listening to Joe. All right. I want to know. Okay. But uh, definitely let me know if you survive. Say, hey, I'm a survivor. Okay, I survived to the end. All right. And then from there, also too, guys, I want you guys to click on the description below. We are giving right now 35% off to celebrate the new years of 2020, man. Okay. The coupon code is 35 New Year 2020. Okay. That's the coupon code. And it's gonna be in the description below. So take advantage. Okay, you actually pay $13 per month. Okay, so this guarantees that you pay for $13 for the rest of the year or for however long you want to sign up to CodingFace.com. And then at the same time, if you want to sign up to CodingFace, you know, yearly plus, I believe it's $258. Amazing deal. Okay, amazing, 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 amazing deal. Okay, take advantage, guys. $258 to get all of my courses and literally every single thing that I do at codingphase.com is not a bad deal. Okay. So it's not a one-time thing. It's a forever thing. So that's what you will pay for ever. Okay. So <laughs> as long as you're a member or you decide to cancel, whatever it is right now, by the way, we do have a seven day, you know, money back guarantee. So you could go ahead and try this out. If you've been on the fence, if you've been in the corners and you're like, man, I don't know if I want to do this, try it out, bro. 
We literally press one button. You come in, you send me a message and say, hey, Joe, I need a refund. I press a button. You get that money right back in two business days. Okay. So it's not like I'm keeping your money. So, okay. I want you guys to try this out. I work hard to make sure I create all of this content for you guys. And like I said, every single thing that I just talked about here is what we teach at codingphase.com. We only focus on the things that's going to get you jobs, that's going to get you money as a developer, that's going to help you get to make money online as a web developer. So if you're interested in those things, go try out codingphase.com. All right. You might see me on an ad or two from here on, but <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Shout out to everybody who support me. I love you guys. Take care. Peace.